Ladies, welcome to this week's Survivor Chat. Hey, everybody. It's episode 12. And yeah. we are getting close to the end again. More. I can't believe we're like two weeks away from the finale and there's like nine people left. It's crazy. What? It's well, insane. Well, after today. So, Ty wants to know, what happened? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, because remember they like blindsided Zeke? Their yeah. own Because the majority blindsided one of their own? <laughs> crazy. So he's like, do you guys want to talk about it? And they're just like, No. Not Very really. awkward, too, for Ty, because Ty's alliance all voted for him to Ty go. was already on the bottom, and his allies were just like, uh... Bye. Because they all voted for him last time. Yeah. That's awkward. All right. Well, the plan could be maybe, hmm, let's pull in Ty and get rid of Brad. Yeah, they're like, it would be a logical move for Ty to come over here because his allies just turned on him, and let's get rid of Brad because he's, like, the leader he's of that threat. group. All right. So Sierra tells Sarah... Um, I have something to tell you. She is at the bottom right now, and this is kind of like her Hail Mary, trying to gain Sarah's trust, trying to get in with her, and see if she can make something happen. I have a legacy advantage. A what? <laughs> is that like the cops alliance? <laughs> and not only did she say that, she said if she was voted off, She'd will it to she'd her. She'd give it to Sarah. Yeah. So immediately I'm like, oh shit, get get rid of her. Yeah, that's what <laughs> you I would You can get the think. advantage. But Sarah that's was like, I would think. oh, that makes me really want to keep her. Why? And I was like, what? You could have that legacy to yourself, girl. I don't know why she would want, want to keep her. I guess her. at this point she's still like, we can work together. It would be good to have another number. Okay. You know, she trusted her enough to tell her about it. So she's not going to just tell her about it and then screw her over, right? Well, she does know that she's desperate and she's at the bottom, so I mean... Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, it's time for the reward challenge. What are you playing for? Barbecue and cupcakes? Ooh, cupcakes. I love cupcakes. All right. That's very exciting, but guess what? It's what? time to bring out the loved ones. Oh. Oh, my God. This was a tearjerker not just for the cry? people on yes not just for the people how did on you the not show. cry during manchester by the sea but you cried tonight i don't know <laughs> i think you it's a delayed cry and you saved it all up for i don't this. think so okay <laughs> <laughs> sarah's husband was there and she had a freaking breakdown just when jeff was like guess what all your loved ones. ones are here she was just like <gasps> Like, on the ground. So she got to go first. I wonder how they set this up. Like, I mean, mean, because they know pretty much who's coming. Yeah. I'm sure they kind of work it out beforehand, and there's, like, a list. Yeah. So, I mean, do they know that there's going to be a loved one <coughs> thing? Because some seasons I don't, don't think, have loved ones. I don't think it's confirmed. I think they just have, like, a what-if list. Okay. And then, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. There was a weird moment here where Sierra and Ty... Uh, <laughs> they were both <clears throat> drooling over Sarah's husband. They were like, ooh, your husband's hot. That was weird. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to be like, ooh, but, like, to say it out loud... Why not? Mm. I didn't think it was that weird. Well, like Maddie said, it was a real tearjerker. Yeah. We cried and cried. I especially loved Ty and Mark. Oh. Ty now just we wanted know. to know if the cats were okay. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it's like Ty met a frog, but a chicken, and then Mark he kissed the it, and it turned into Prince Charming. Mark the chicken's a man now. It kind of was That's like so that. That's so nice. <laughs> All oh right. my gosh. How long has Ty been in this relationship? Was it since the last time he's been on? Or I don't have know. they been together for a long time? I feel like they've been time? together for a long time. Oh. I feel like they've been together for a long time. They All were right. very sweet together. They were. I loved it. I also loved seeing Sari and her son. Oh, yeah. Like, all the reunions were nice, but it was really yeah. nice to see. Especially Sari and her one. son. Because she missed his high school graduation. That sucks, but. Did it make you think of us? In what way? Because they're like... Did you miss my high school graduation? No. I was there. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> it wasn't it was great. really hot that day. Um, no, I meant because like, oh, Oh, because they're close. They're close. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Did you cry extra? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Me too. All right. So, um, let's talk about the challenge. Okay. It's three teams of three. And they're... They're tied, tied together. together. They've got to run through this shallow water. That sucks. Yeah. Get back to the beach. Climb over an obstacle, go 
and dig under a log. Oh, whenever that they do terrible. this, it freaks me out because I just imagine myself getting stuck and not being able to breathe. That doesn't bother me. I would be bothered by like sand in my mouth and my eyes. Oh, that's and... you're gonna have that like any challenge. I don't like that. This especially though, like freaks me out because I would not want to be stuck like that. And, the and sand Ty did there get stuck. Is like really big. Yeah. It's like very tiny, small pebbles, but like huge sand grains. Right. I don't like that sand. Yeah. So Ty got stuck. They were trying to like jam him through there. He wasn't the only one who got stuck. Sierra got stuck. She's I, too long for that. Her legs don't bend that way. No. Don't hyperextend her legs. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. But in the end, Brad, Aubrey, and Andrea won the challenge. Mm -hmm. They got to choose one extra person right. to bring along with their loved one. For their barbecue. That was pretty much a no-brainer that they chose Sari, I thought. She was the only one who had her child there. Yeah. And that would just be cruel Yeah. to send her child home. I mean, he was an adult just, child. He just graduated from high school. He's a baby. He's 18. He's a baby. He's a legal adult <laughs> under the Still, law. You know what I mean. Um, so they chose her. Right. And then Jeff was like, guess what? You get to pick one more. And that was a little bit harder, yeah. I think. Uh, but they ended up choosing Sarah. Right. So she got to go to the barbecue with her husband. With her sexy husband. Michaela was so pissed. Yeah. She was so pissed. And her mom was like, stop it. <laughs> well, first she yelled at her after she lost. And Michaela was like all upset about losing. She was like, calm down. I like Michaela's mom. Michaela's mom is amazing. You see where She's Michaela stuck. gets it from. Yep. And then she was telling Michaela like, go get him. <laughs> yeah. It was hilarious. I loved it. All right. It. So, of course, they had a delicious barbecue. Mm-hmm. The best part of the barbecue was not the food, it was the look on Ceri's son's face when she told him where the bathroom was. Oh my he god! Was like, yeah, he was like, I have to go, <laughs> oh, like, is there a toilet over there? Yeah. Oh, nope. It's called the dirt. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I bet he was holding it. <laughs> that sucks. It was also really fun to see Brad and Monica together because yeah. he had the unique advantage his loved one has played the game before. And got pretty far. She made it to the end, didn't yeah. she? So she was talking game with him. She's like, oh, you saw how pissed Michaela was that she didn't get picked. Yeah. So there's a good chance that she could flip here. You got to take advantage of that. And he's like, right. oh, yeah, yeah. Take notes, take notes. <laughs> All right. Well, not at the reward. Uh, Michaela and Ty and Sierra and Troyzan. Guess what? Kayla's pissed. <laughs> yeah. So they were she all bonding over being on the bottom. She was in that majority group, but now she's starting to think like, mm, maybe it's time to flip because these people don't care about me. Right. So they're she's making a them. plan to get rid of Andrea. Oh snap! Andrea's really kicking ass in the competition. She really this season, is, and she is calling shots. So they're thinking it could be time to get rid of her. Agreed. All right. So it's immunity challenge time. This is another brutal one. Yeah. I mean, it's bad enough uh, when you have to like hold something, but then when you're on a balance beam too, like it was a, a double endurance. Beam, yeah. Double endurance. People are gonna be dropping out quick, right, mm -hmm. Aubrey? Yeah, <laughs> she was out really early. So really I mean, early. that buoy though, you had to keep your sticks like in the little circles, yeah. or else you were screwed. Yeah. All right, so Aubrey was out first. A lot of They're other dropping people like dropped flies. very quickly. I think four I dropped within like 30 seconds. Which doesn't each surprise other. me because I feel like it would be really tough to concentrate with people dropping out right and left. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It would be very distracting. After 18 minutes, Michaela, Brad, and Ty were left. And then um, Michaela, Michaela dropped. dropped. I, you know, just when she was looking really solid, I was like, oh, she could take this and then mm -hmm. drop. Yep. So it was down to Brad and Ty, and Brad ended up winning immunity. I feel weird calling him Brad. Culpepper won immunity. <laughs> His first immunity. His first individual immunity, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the new targets are Sierra and Andrea. Yeah, because the majority alliance was thinking, let's get rid of Brad, but now that he's got immunity... They gotta come up with somebody else, and Sierra is his right hand woman. Yes. Well, Sarah doesn't want to vote out Sierra. How'd <laughs> you like how I read <laughs> Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> she doesn't want to vote out Sierra, but she does have that legacy. She is realizing, so. like, wait a second. If I do get rid of her, she said she was going to give me the legacy advantage. But I kind of have to pretend that I'm still not going to vote her out. Yeah, she doesn't want to piss her off. And then yeah. she's going to give the advantage to somebody else. So 
Sierra, Sierra kind of like messes this up for herself a little bit because Michaela and Ty told her that they would vote to keep her. They were right. down. They were like, as long as nobody does anything stupid. Six to the plan. We've got the numbers. So right. then Sierra tells Sarah, hey, Michaela and Ty said that they're voting to keep me. They're going to vote out Andrea. Well, Sarah was like, mm. I want that advantage. So, yeah. so Sarah goes and talks to Michaela, and she's just like, girl, Sierra's got this advantage. She said that she's going to give it to me. Let's work together and vote out Sierra. So there's a tough That's decision here. Michaela holds so a lot of power right now. Was she going to go after Sierra or Andrea? I think we know the answer to that. All right, so it's time for Tribal, and of course, Jeff wants to know about the big cry fest. How did, how did you make that loved one's decision? I mean, it's one thing when you're picking people for rewards, but when there's loved ones involved... That's a whole nother level. Yeah. So that can really upset people. Yeah. So Sierra said the four of us uh, who were left behind on the reward... Maybe we made some moves. You Maybe don't know. Maybe we did. <laughs> you I'm, don't know. You don't know their life. She's trying to say, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think I'm the biggest threat here. I think Andrea is. So she's throwing yeah, An she Andrea's really name did out call there. Out Andrea. And Sarah's pushing that they have a solid group. It's all good. Usually, you can't though, trust what people say at when Tribal. You say you have a solid group. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, do you know when people are bluffing? I think this season has been the most. Bluff, the bluffiest. Yeah, the bluffiest uh, tribals ever. Tribal has come a long way. Yeah, it really has. Tribal is a game in itself now. Mm hmm Right? With all the whispering and everything that we've seen this season. This season has been nuts. It's an, it's, its own little mini game within the bigger video game. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's really, it really messes with your head, I It's I really cool how it has evolved from the very first season where that one jerk was like, I'm voting the letters of the alphabet. You idiot. All right. So <laughs> then it was time for the vote, and Sierra was voted out. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't think she was that shocked, but... Well, I, I mean, she knew that she was on the chopping block. It was yeah. just a matter of whether or not Ty and Michaela were going to tell the truth or not. Well, apparently she trusted Sarah enough that she was going to give her the legacy She's anyway. like, oh, I hope you didn't vote me out. <gasps> she did. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, anyway... Next time, there's a little showdown between Brad and Michaela. Oh, snap. And it's going to put Sari in a really tough position. Oh, boy. <sighs> Guys, let us know what you thought in the comments. This was crazy. And this whole Sarah's season, Sarah's got two too. advantages now. There's a lot of different She's got things two advantages. floating around out there. Ty's got two idols. Troy has got an idol. This The last few episodes are going to be like... Yeah. Crazy. It's going to be nuts. Crazy. I hope they don't blow it all on one tribal. I know, right? It's going to be crazy. Till next time. Much, Much love. love.